Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we'll be seeing how to set up and configure SSH server on your device. So let's get started. First of all, I have two devices with me. One is the system one and the another one is the system two. Okay, so I'll be logging on to my device or the system one from the system two. Okay, for that, I need two things. I need an SSH server and an SSH client. Okay, so you need to install an SSH server application onto a device to which you want to log in remotely. So I'll be logging on to this system one from some other system which is on the same same network. Okay, so I need to install the SSH server over here. So you to install SSH server, you just type in sudo apt get install open SSH server. Okay. Just press enter, I have already installed it. And if you have any issues while installing it, just type in sudo space app get update and then followed by upgrade. Okay, this can solve the problem. And after installing this OpenSSH server, you can just configure anything if you want just by going to cd slash uh, root slash edc slash ssh over there you can just list down and you can find a file called sshd underscore config okay nano space sshd underscore config okay you can see you can configure many things over here almost all the settings of ssh server can be configured over here and also i'm just exiting it after making any changes to this file you just need to Mm, restart the SSH server. To restart the SSH server, just type service space sshd, which is the service for the SSH server, and then type in restart. Okay. Just type the password. I'm not getting any errors or messages. If you're getting any errors while restarting or starting the SSH server, that means you have made some mistake while configuring your configuration file okay after doing this i can go into a device that is my system 2 which is connected with device at uh, this system 1 through a network okay the ip address of this system 1 is 192.168.10.1 and the ip address of this device is 192.168.10.2 okay so before getting started, I will show you something. Just press W and press enter. You can see that system one, this is system one, not the system on, uh, just because the character limitation has been logged on to your device. Okay, this is the time and and all stuff. This is the basically this device itself. Okay, this system one and system one. Okay, and now you can go on to your system two and in your system two, in order to connect to an SSH server, you need an application called an SSH client. Okay, to install an SSH client, you can type in sudo space app get install open SSH client. Uh, you don't have to install this open SSH client most of the cases for Ubuntu because it comes by default pre-installed. Okay, so in order to use this SSH client and to log into this device, you can just type in SSH followed by the username or the user to which you want to log in. So I just want to log into this system one as system one user. Okay. So I'll type in I'll be typing the username system one at 192.10. Sorry, 168.10.1. That is the IP address of my system one. Then I'll press enter, it will be asking me the password for this user. Okay, now you have, you can see that from system two, you have been successfully logged in as system one, that is this device, okay. In order to ensure that you have successfully logged in, just go to your system one and just press, uh, type W and press enter. You can see that a new user system one itself has been logged in from this device 
that is 192.168.10.2 that is nothing that's my device okay and you can open a new terminal and over here just type the same I log in as system one okay you can see I have logged in again and just type W again and press enter you can see you there are three users logged in okay one is this system itself and one is my one terminal and the another one is my second terminal okay okay I'll be just typing exit you can see that logged out successfully and I'll just type W again going on to my system one and again you can see that one user has been logged out from the device okay one is this device and one is my one terminal which is being active okay now over here just minimize it now I am basically logged in to this device okay just I'll just navigate to desktop so that I can show you something desktop desktop okay now I'll show you something mkdir I'll name it as SSS test and after I press enter you can see that on my system one the directory has been created also I can so create a file over there testing SSH something and I'll just write it out you can see that the file has been saved over there and I can just exit it okay and similarly now with the help of this SSH you can also copy files from your remote device to your local system and also to uh, also from the local system to your remote device and I will show you how to do that okay just I will type exit and I will just log out from the device I will clear the screen okay SCP is the command used for copying files or moving files between the remote system and the local system SCP stands for secure copy okay and you can use uh, in order to copy I have a text hello.txt on my desktop okay uh, on my local system now I'll be copying it to the desktop folder of my remote system okay that is the system one just go to the, uh, the, the terminal type scp now type so the source file source for the file hello.txt that is nothing that is my desktop desktop slash hello.txt to where I'll be I need to copy it into the desktop folder of system one okay so I'll be typing system this is my destination okay, I'll just space system one at 192.168.10.1 I'll put a colon and then from there I'll start typing the path nothing that is slash stands for root slash home slash system one okay, slash desktop slash hello.txt okay that's it and now press enter it will be asking me the password okay, you can see that this file has been copied over there and just double click and open it you can see the same contents over here and over there okay that's it now I'll just now I'll show you how I'll just do the opposite for copying something from the remote device to your current device that is I'll do one thing I'll just navigate myself to desktop on my client device okay here the screen okay now I'll copy this sss.txt to my client or the local system okay so that is scp and it's also a part of ssh itself and secure copy protocol that's it and now I'll type in my source that is nothing but the system one at the IP address 192.168.10.1 colon slash uh, that's the root slash home slash 
system one slash desktop slash ssh dot t ssh dot txt to where to my dot slash okay i made a mistake while typing in the password okay you can see that that file has been copied okay I just delete it and show you again just type in this and this is the current directory dot slash stands for current directory that is I'm already in the desktop so I don't want to change or specify the path of all again so I just need to specify that it's the current directory copy to the current directory of the local system that is scp source followed by the destination pressing enter you can see that it asks me the password okay you can see that that file has been copied that's it that's what we wrote first uh, hello testing ssh something okay that's it so that's all about ssh hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe thank you